In a recent video, I made some copper bars and some channel rounds using a vertical flask. I'll pin a link to that video in the description below. I think they came out pretty good, but when you pour molten metal into a vertical flask, there's a lot of turbulence, which can cause problems in your final cast. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying it out using a horizontal flask. Doing it this way should give me a little bit better surface finish that I got using a vertical flask. I'm also preheating the sand. Now the vertical flask in the previous video, I did not heat the sand prior to pouring the molten metal into the mold. So for today's video, I'm going to be melting down some copper wire. I actually have quite a bit of copper wire. So I'm just going to fill up the crucible with the wire and bring it out to the furnace and start melting it down. And it usually takes about 15 or 20 minutes to get this mold. So I still have a little bit of copper left in the crucible, so I am preheating the ingot mold. I'm just going to set it down on top of this mold for me to pour it into. It's been cold here lately. I got some ice in this bucket. Let's uh, cool down this copper ingot. Well, that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? It's stuck in the ice. Let's uh, let's break it out of it. So it's been about 15 or 20 minutes, and I can now safely demold this casting flask. And it is still pretty hot. That's why I'm wearing my leather gloves. <laughs> so 
So now I'm in the garage. They have cooled down enough for me to cut off the gates and the runners and start cleaning them up and seeing how well they came out. I can already see that they came out better. I just have to sand away this flashing on the edges. So now that the flashing is all cleaned up, it's now time for me to clean up the face. And as I said before, the face of this bar looks much better than they did in the vertical flash. Here we go guys, two nice copper bars made by me. And like I said, they definitely came out better using a horizontal flask than they did with the vertical flask. I also think maybe because I heated the sand prior to pouring, that also helped give it a better finish. And when I say finish, I mean a lot less porosity that I had from the vertical flasks. I hope you guys liked the video. Please hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.